This is Brandon, I'm Sarah, and of course, our beloved Aiko. Frustrated by the ever-increasing cost of living, we went out on a limb and left our traditional life on land behind. We built a new kind of dream together and now get to call this slice of paradise home. We're learning how to navigate this unique life off the grid and on the water, so grab a drink and join us for the ever-evolving adventure that is keeping afloat. <sighs> Sorry about my tomato -ness. I'm in the middle of a workout. I was just going on about my morning. Honestly, I kind of forgot about the solar. <sighs> Brandon's at work and he texted me and he was like, oh my God, look at the app. And oh my gosh, it is like, I don't know, nine o'clock in the morning and the sun is like just filtering through the treetops. We are pulling a thousand watts, like a full kilowatt of solar right now, which is, insane like for reference in the middle of a clear sunny day in the middle of the summer peak sun like the peakest of peak we were getting was like 500 600 watts before so the fact that we're getting like almost double that now and it is morning time winter time filtered like i'm just I am mind blown. It is absolutely bonkers how efficient those panels are. After swapping out our older solar panels for newer and more efficient ones this past week, we had the power all right. And what will we do this week with all of our newfound sun-powered energy? Would we add a hot tub to the dock or break out the strobe light and smoke machine for a party? Well, I'll tell you what we did with that extra power this week. Not a dang thing, cause some of us gotta work for a living. Back to the grind we go, y'all. It's like somebody turned a fan on in there. If you happen to be new with us, we've been working on renovating this old floating cabin for the past few months. You're gonna wanna follow the journey from the beginning. So when you're done with this video, just head to the description to find the link to our renovation playlist with all of our progress videos in order up to this point. But for now, to cut to the chase, this week we're working on prepping for our ceiling install. And in order to get the ceiling in, we've got to vent the attic, insulate it, and ensure all the wiring that'll come down through the roof from the future solar panels will be safe and accessible. We're gonna put this on the roof with a boot. The boot's on the boat. The boot's on the boat. And then that pipe, you cut this to fit, cut a hole in the roof, that pipe goes down. It's got a 180. That way no rain goes up in it. You run your solar wires in it down into the house and they'll tie in. We've already made all the holes for it and that way the wires for the solar panel aren't running down the side of the house. I need to know how far it is off the front wall to that first door. Today we are prepping for the spray foam insulation deal tomorrow, which is mainly a, a Brandon project. He's really been stressing about this, so I know he's going to be glad to get it done. We'll do what we can today to clear out the house, make sure everything's all ready, and then tomorrow he's got to shave his beard actually, so he can get the respirator on. I guess that's something that has to happen. And yeah, it should, it should be interesting. We got on such a roll with our cleaning of the scrap materials barge that we decided it wasn't a bad day for a little dinghy bath time either. We try and clean our little runabout boats here monthly or so, and the jet ski ramp at the marina sure does make for an easy place to do it.
as clean as we've ever had it. Bear, you're being such a good girl. Be so patient. All right. Last but not least, step of prep. Bumpy if it falls and it's hard to get up because obviously this isn't the floor that we're. It's hard to get off whatever it needs to. Just put this down and then we'll get done spraying when it's pulled up. Oh, we're not leaving this for looks. I'm seamed up. Ready, Freddy. Good work today, Miss Bear. And look at this nice, clean dinghy. Aren't you excited to get it all dirty again? You guys are ready for the reveal? No beer, B. Booyah! You look like a baby. When was the last time that you had a clean shave? Uh, I used to have to do it on the road all the time because I'd have to take respirator fit tests and they make you shave to do it. Yeah, it's probably been seven years. Oh, it has little feet too. You gotta wear a respirator, goggles. I figured instead of a full face respirator, I would just wear the half mask. That way I can wear goggles and a face shield. And I can try to wipe it off the face shield if it drips down on it. Dang gum. Shoo. <laughs> you look safe, baby. There's an A part and a B part. You shake them up, get them to a certain temperature. You got two different styles of tip, a fan tip, and then you have another tip, which blows a lot more out. You got 30 seconds if you quit spraying. 30 seconds before the tip clogs up. You only get four tips per box. So too thick, it'll down catch on fire. Yeah, so we've got two fire extinguishers in here. A good one and then a backup one in case the good one is somehow not good. There's a lot about this that kind of makes me nervous for you. <laughs> I didn't realize this was so dangerous. So we had some temperature constraints as well, which is why we had a heater in here earlier warming the space up. But we've just been waiting for a day such as this that is beautiful and warm or about as warm as we'll get this time of year anyways. It's supposed to be like over 70, right? Uh, 71 today. Okay, baby. Be safe. I'll be outside if you need anything. Not when I shut that door. I will try to. Because <laughs> I don't know if Bear needs to breathe in any of this stuff. Yeah, for sure. We don't have, you know, doorknobs and stuff, but I figured out if you jam a piece of wood in there, you can kind of shut the door. I'm like really nervous for him. I'm, maybe that's silly. I know that this is not an uncommon thing, but I don't know. I guess just because we've never done it before and all the. PPE. It just makes me makes me nervous. But anywho, I'm gonna distract myself by working on uh, sanding the dock while he's doing that, and hopefully I don't hear any shouting from in there. And I'll assume everything's going well. <laughs> Not as bad as you thought. You want to start doing this for fun? No, 
<laughs> yeah. None of my safety gear is clean anymore. I can't see out of it. Right. What I'm going to do is get that back corner above the bathroom the best that I can. And then I will look in there and see what needs touched up. Yeah. And we'll be good. Cool. Have fun. Not too much. It's done. Bet you're glad that's over. Yeah. Well, I don't know nothing, but it looks pretty good to me. That's good. <laughs> you are sweaty. Yeah, these suits don't breathe. Yeah. Well, I mean, they don't breathe good. Good work, baby. Proud yeah. of you. We went in with it. I mean, we used three tanks. Definitely sealed up. Well, this is one of our biggest barriers as far as moving forward with the interior. Like, we couldn't tongue and groove without having this done and we we didn't want to do anything else before we did the ceiling because you know if you do the ceiling you're going to ruin the floor you're going to ruin the walls like you got to do the ceiling first so pretty exciting to have this done so that we can start making bigger better progress here on the interior i know a lot of you guys have been excited to see some progress on the inside too so we can finally start getting after it oh it is so cute it is so cute is it not really grown on us. I can't wait to stain those columns, add the extra dark space. It's just going to be the cutest house, guys. <sighs> My goodness, you guys. It is absolutely gorgeous out i just i can feel my serotonin levels rising you know the older i get the more i swear i am simply a plant like you give me water you give me sunshine and like that's it i'm thriving i'm happy <laughs> i might have been thriving a little bit too much yesterday um, we were sitting over here in the sun chatting um, on the phone to one of our patrons and i swear it was like an hour tops and look at this if you can see this I got so burnt like I'm so pink which is not good you know we don't like skin cancer around here and I just I couldn't believe that that happened over the course of like an hour but you know this time of year my skin is so white and sensitive from a long winter's nap so man I guess even if I'm gonna be in the sun for an hour I need to be putting on sunscreen so it's just the scotch irish in me you know that does remind me uh we have a new captain member patron, so you guys may know that one of our levels, the captain one, you get a shout out on our channel, amongst many other things. So a huge thank you to our newest captain member, Joe Diedrich out of Texas. Really, really appreciate your support. You're helping make these videos possible for all of us. For anybody else who may be interested in supporting us on Patreon, you can do so for as little as 75 cents per video. Just a few quarters you can chuck our way to say thanks for making this and um, just helps us, you know, over the long run. A little goes a long way when a lot of people pitch in and we can afford filming equipment, editing software, subscriptions, music, stuff like that. So it really does help and we really do appreciate it. Man, my arm is exhausted holding this camera up. I did an arm workout this morning. Um, so I better save my strength because Bear and I are about to head to the house to go finish up the sanding from yesterday. So let's get after it. So right now I'm hitting it with some 80 grit and it is just tearing up the discs like every, you know, few feet or whatever, if that tells you how rough it is. So going over it with kind of a rough sand first, just to try and smooth out some of these like big ridges and bumps. And then after that, we'll go back over it with a finer grit and then stain it. So yeah, really trying to salvage the deck as much as we can. There's a lot of things in this house that we did not salvage and that we bought new. Um, and I think that this is one of the things that is very reasonable to work with and still have a really nice finished product that we can be proud of and that you can walk around barefoot on, <laughs> most importantly. 
Brandon is just having the time of his life being a menace. You're setting a bad example, baby. Stop! All right, Bear. Go show Daddy who's boss. Go, kid. Hey, girl. Such an instigator. tuning in this week and spending some time with us. Unfortunately, there'll be no video next Friday as I'll be out of town spending the week with my sister, brother-in-law, and baby nephew. Y'all actually met this cutie patootie a few months ago. I'll link the video here in case you missed it and might like to see what it was like having a baby in the boathouse. So wish me luck as I get some good diaper changing practice in and wish I go luck because she'll have to put up with Brandon all week. <laughs> but we will be back before you know it and we're looking forward to the next one. Cheers, y'all.